they're going to have. Is that nepotism or cronyism? I guess that'd be cronyism. We're going to skip this network break and play Rex Jones's report here. And I'd give it an A+, plus, uh, other than the fact that the audio is overdriven. But we're going to fine-tune this each time. Because quite frankly, I just came and turned the mic on and walked out. Or I should have been listening that he was overdriving on the mic. My fault. But it just shows how he's pretty much you know, doing this on his own uh, with the help of John Bowne with the editing. Uh, and uh, his report breaks down the fact that they're tr they always try to condition the youth to be servants of the authoritarian state. Now they're trying to neutralize youth and turn them into mindless people out of the movie Wally who just lay around all day and watch television and don't understand entrepreneurial enjoyment. And so uh, we're going to go to his report. But the toll-free number to join us here on air is 800 259 9231 800 259 9231. And we will talk about any of these issues uh, that we have been raising and a bunch of other news as well. But first off, uh, let's now go to. Oh, and by the way, that's first time callers, I should add. I want to give first time callers a chance. 800 259 9231. But right now, let's uh, go ahead and go to this report on the war on entrepreneurship, the war on barter. The war on us communicating with each other uh, outside of a Walmart. Here it is. Throughout history, authoritarian regimes have wanted to control the youth and condition them, to spy on their parents and to join Hitler Youth. Publications like Forbes and The Week have asked the question, why is there a war on lemonade stands? We're going to answer that important question. An 11-year-old girl's lucrative cupcake business is in limbo. She was prohibited from selling cupcakes that were made in her home and had not made anyone sick. A four-year-old Iowa girl had her lemonade stand shut down by local police. Her crime? She had been selling lemonade at 25 cents a cup for less than half an hour and probably didn't make much more than $5. Police informed her that a permit would cost $400. In protest to this kooky and insane attack on an American tradition, August 20th is now unofficially National Lemonade Freedom Day. In Virginia, Martha Bonita was threatened with $5,000 per day fines for such horrific crimes as hosting a birthday party for eight 10-year-olds on a rural property without a permit and for advertising pumpkin carvings. In response, Delegate Bob Marshall introduced HB 1219 into the Virginia General Assembly. It states, local officials who abuse zoning authority powers to cower citizens into submission and deprive landowners of constitutional rights in the enjoyment of their land must be subject to fines and actual damages that they cause, including attorney fees. Colorado students and their parents are furious at their high school after administrators rejected their request for a Spirit Week Day honoring America because it might offend non-Americans. In essence, the high school leaned on the side of racism rather than to allow patriotism to flourish. An 11-year-old Oregon girl, Madison Root, tried to help her father pay for expensive braces by selling mistletoe over the holidays. According to her father, the private security guard hired to oversee the Portland security market told her to simply beg for money rather than to sell mistletoe. Her father stated he does not want to encourage begging and wants people to earn their living. She is so keen on high work ethic. Madison confirmed this. I don't want to beg. I'd rather work for something than beg. People are selling stuff. This is a public place. Despite this reprimanding of her business, she now has 38, and I did say 38, people working for her at a decent $9 an hour. The answer to these attacks is to buy local and support small businesses in your community. The establishment would have you buying big box store goods from Foxconn slave factories. Vote with your dollars and buy local American goods and organic foods. Young people, don't let them intimidate you and stop you from becoming free market. Get outside. Stop playing video games and watching TV and start interacting with the real world. Don't let your brain fall into decay and rot like so many others already have. Start your own business. Write your own book. Start a garden. Become a voice for your fellow Americans. The people are fighting back against the globalist movement to outlaw grassroots bartering into extinction. Hi, I'm Rex Jones, and I'm part of the resistance of tyranny. You, too, are part of the resistance of tyranny. And remember, if you 
are watching this transmission, you are the resistance. All right, folks, we are back live here. Again, thank you so much uh, for joining us. That is Rex Jones's report. Uh, he certainly is excited uh, to be part of the show. Uh, and uh, he is absolutely kicking butt on every front. And most of that was his own research. It's incredible to see how he's 11 and has a much greater grasp of adult things than most adults I know. I've taken him out to some uh, meetings with uh, pretty high-powered corporate people. And he sits there and holds conversations with them for hours. These are adults, owners of major companies, uh, you name it. And they're just completely blown away. Hey, guys, my earpiece went out. So if you guys will just bring me or, or get another one ready, I'm having a lot of problems day after day now with this system. I think it's going out. So uh, for, for now, I'll just go without uh, headphones. All right, continuing here uh, with the news and information. Uh, again, I said I would take your phone calls. We'll do that uh, at the start of the next segment. Uh, again, uh, going over the news, that is on Infowars.com. Rand Paul Obama is transforming U.S. into a socialist nightmare. That's what I like to hear. That is exactly telling it like it is. You know, we have this predisposed idea that if something's real radical, it's almost rude to say it or to just spell it out like, yeah, the government ships in most of the drugs, uh, but that's really no big deal. Uh, let's still arrest people that get caught using them. Or, yeah, the government is funding most of the Taliban and Al-Qaeda and other groups. But, you know, so what? They're trying to keep us safe, taking our rights away. We just have to have a break with the system and tell it like it is. Obama is frightening and dangerous. Obama is becoming a dictator. Obama is a con man for foreign banks robbing people through Obamacare that does double, triple, quadruple prices, that does get rid of your doctor. He is a liar. He is a plague. He is a fraud. He is a scam. He is a disease. He represents the takeover of our society by trendy con artists and fraud. It is anathema. So we're going to be playing uh, that video coming up. Rand Paul, Obama is transforming U.S. into a socialist nightmare. Yes, turn up the rhetoric to meet the level of the fraud that we're dealing with. That is the answer. In a recent interview with Newsmax, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul hit it out uh, at President uh, saying, that his policies are stifling freedom in America and creating a socialist nightmare. Well, he, uh, he struck back at the, at the tyrant and told it like it was. It's hard to imagine exactly what his goal is because when you talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, he sounds reasonable and like he's not trying to transform America into some socialist nightmare, Paul stated. The senator described Obama's policies as transformative, adding that he is changing us from a country that was a marketplace and freedom of choice to a country that is stifled by coercion and mandates. Paul has a huge issue uh, with the way Obama seems determined to continually bypass Congress and take executive action to do blithely whatever he wants and thinks he can get away with, close quote. Pointing specifically to Obama changing aspects of the Affordable Care Act without congressional approval. Yeah, that is 100% dictator activity. Paul said basically he pushes the limit to whatever he thinks he can get and won't be rebuked. And, and finally, what is Boehner saying because of pressure? You know, Boehner put out that meme a few weeks ago about Obama has his pen and phone. We have the Constitution. Everybody went, well, then why aren't you stopping him, Boehner? Why aren't you stopping him, buddy? So now Boehner is out today saying no immigration deal until Obama enforces laws. Exactly. We're going to legalize the tens of millions of illegals that are here and give you all benefits and give you a driver's license and let you vote illegally. They've been caught doing it everywhere. That'll fix the immigration problem. Yeah. I mean, they already admit since they announced this in the last year that it's record level illegals pouring across. And Obama has already, by fiat, legalized most of the illegals and is not deporting them. And I know there's sad stories. And I know it's rough. If I tried to go to Mexico and live there and be on welfare, they'd deport me after they shut me down. I mean, we have the most open borders, the most open policies in the world. And then we've been guilted by people like Sotomayor to say that to call illegals illegals is racist and mean. No, it's not. No, it's not. I can't go to Mexico and have a baby paid for at the hospital. U.S. citizens, whether you're Hispanic, black, white, Asian, I don't care. If you're a U.S. citizen, you don't get all that stuff for free. I am sick of it. There's the quote, Sotomayor. Labeling illegal immigrants criminals is insulting. 
You, you anti-gun communist witch, are the one that's insulting. By the way, she's not even a communist, ladies and gentlemen. She, she's the fake left for all these ultra-rich or above-the-law, tax-exempt. They write the laws to be exempt, and then use the laws to shut down their competition. That's what the new world order is. But now Boehner says, listen, there's widespread doubt about whether this administration can be trusted to enforce our laws. Uh, Boehner, you've been supporting the immigration thing that Obama wants because it's the Republican plan of Bush. See, notice how he plays both sides and knows that the public's ignorant. So, I mean, this would just be legalizing the illegals. So th then he's acting like this plan would actually enforce the law, but he's just worried Obama won't enforce it. But there's no teeth in it to begin with. See, it's fraud within frauds. That's what it is to be a politician, a scam artist. Did, you know, to, 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 to say something that sounds like it has substance when it has the opposite. Quoting uh, Boner, I mean Boehner, listen, there's widespread doubt about whether this administration can be trusted to enforce our laws. And it's going to be difficult to move any immigration legislation until that changes, the Ohio Republican told reporters in his weekly press conference. That came exactly a week after Boehner had appeared to jumpstart the debate by releasing principles for an immigration deal that included granting most illegal immigrants legal status and giving younger illegal immigrants a specific pathway to citizenship. But this week, Mr. Boehner has seemed much less optimistic. Yeah, that's to kill opposition that they know is mounting. Now, when we come back from break, we're going to talk to Peter, Ed, Joe, Richard, Corey, and many, many others. And then I've got all this other news. Um, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney calls freedom a buzzword. That's right. When you talk about constitution or freedom or liberty, you know, that's a buzzword. I mean, you know, who wants that? Who wants due process? Who wants law and order? Who wants an orderly system that follows the you know common sense laws? No, no, let's let Jay Carney, who represents this criminal enterprise, say and do whatever he wants. We're going to go to break uh, here in just a moment and then come back and take your calls. As I said, I skipped that network break. Uh, I want to remind folks here that this hour is brought to you by the best storable foods company out there. I and mean, that's why I have them as a sponsor. I store their food, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. It's non-GMO organic, uh, put together right here in the good old U.S. of A. And their prices are just phenomenally reasonable. We've got a lot of other key survival items, uh, stores for 25 years, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex, or you can call 866-229-0927. But you do not want to be dependent on the system, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. Then briefly, I cannot stress to you, in fact, I'm going to take some right now. I always forget to do this until uh, I'm actually on air. I actually took some of the iodine this morning. It's 7 a.m. when I got up. But this is the proprietary nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWars Survival Shield. I take three times the recommended dose. I do not recommend you do that. I took the regular FDA, you know, recommended dose, allotted dose uh, and for about three weeks and then kind of had the detox stuff for a few weeks. Just kind of my stomach hurting a little bit and, you know, I mean, detoxing, stuff coming out of my skin, you name it. Most people have that happen. I forget the name of the effect they call it, but, the, but then after that, just incredible. I'm working harder, staying up later, doing more. I just personally, it's blown my socks off and you've heard the rave reviews from listeners that is not hype this is the real deal and the great part about it is it funds our operation infowarslife.com the signature product survival shield true nascent iodine and we also have super male vitality and super male vitality is well simply amazing and it's got all the key ingredients that are well known truly organic concentrated to boost male and female uh, vitality and well it's uh Something that if you try it, believe me, uh, you'll uh, you'll continue to buy it and support the broadcast. And we have Fluoride Shield. It's got the nascent iodine and five other key ingredients to take out the fluoride, heavy metals, you name it. They, they can all be taken together, but check with your physician if you have any issues. You can also call 888-253-3139 to order on the phone. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 
Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas.